What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to the full moon workshop. This is a full moon in Gemini, but everyone will feel it because this is a collective energy and the full moon affects all of us, okay? So buckle up because there's a lot of planetary action um, that can be bringing up some confusion or maybe some frustrated truths about ourselves or about other people or other situations. Um, the tarot cards are looking a little crazy, um, but it's not its not a bad energy. It's actually a very productive energy and a very necessary energy, but it can feel a little bit um, overwhelming because we have Sagittarius season that we are now in, which is a mutable fire and Gemini is mutable air. So what happens when you have fire and you add air and... <laughs> Imagine they're both really powerful and there's like a hurricane outside. Like it can become a crazy little fire, right? So maybe some of you are feeling already internally that it's just like, woo, or you're noticing other people and their energy is starting to kind of be like, whoa. Um, I feel like there's a lot of sort of separation um, happening with, like after that eclipse season that we just had, there was a lot of new information and truth coming forward. And now- Neptune is um, moving direct. So Neptune just finished his retrograde in Pisces, which was a lot of people, um, maybe yourself or you're noticing other people who are like believing their own lies or detaching from reality. And you're like, what is happening? Like you have a story in your head and that's not the real story. And of course, like I have my truth, you have your truth. And then there's the third, the ultimate truth. But it's hard for all three of those things to be in alignment all the time. You know what I mean? So maybe some of you are noticing that like the story that you're telling yourself, like your story that you believe, you're just like, I can't believe you think that's what happened here. Like whatever. And it just, it's really showing us, especially after Scorpio season, where people are still stuck. And this full moon in Gemini is also showing us where people are still stuck where we are maybe still stuck in the past because um, Gemini is connected to Mercury and Mercury is the time traveler. So Mercury can move forward and sort of predict things and see what's gonna happen next and try to figure it out. But that means you're not really in your power because you're thinking about the future, which is sometimes helpful, yes, but like if it's fear-based, anxieties, whatever, it's not helpful, right? Alternatively, Mercury can travel backwards and get stuck in old situations, which is like, why did that happen? Why did I do that? Why did they do that? Trying to figure out because Mercury wants answers and clarity. It wants to process the information logically. It's not following the heart and the trust. It's it's following logic and calculation and stories and oh, why did this happen? And how does that equal this? And it's like, so Mercury can easily keep us stuck in the past when it's like, oh, I just can't drop this situation. Maybe you feel a little bit obsessive. Maybe you feel a little bit like, I can't believe that person did that. Oh, it's so frustrating. Why would they do that? And you just, boop, 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 and you're back and you're back and you're back and you're stuck, which also means you're not in the present moment, which also means that you don't have any power because you can't go back and change it and you can't go forward and control it. Like the only time we have actual opportunity and power is in this moment, right? So this full moon can be showing us where we are thinking about the future too much or the past too much, and we're giving our power away. And it's like, ugh, it's keeping us actually stuck. So I have a two of coins here and I have a five of cups. They're both reversed and a six of swords. So mentally, we need to move forward. Mentally, it's time to drop trying to figure out the logic, trying to get closure, trying to make sense of other people's actions and their decisions and all this shit. It doesn't matter. And we're trying to drop and clear that because we have Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities coming, new ways for us to plant seeds, new ways for us to um, figure out how to create the life that we want. Keep in mind, the North Node is still in Taurus. So like, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say specifics like that, I'm always going to explain to you. So like the North node in Taurus means that we have an opportunity now to establish better foundations for our long-term success and stability. So that is the overall energy for the last like six months and another like year and a half. So 
That's the overall theme, is establishing better structures and foundations for a long-term success financially and stability um, and better health and life, et cetera. Um, more rest, better food, like that's the kind of overall energy shift shift that is happening now for the collective. So this full moon shows us where we still investing into old connections or old ideas or old perspectives, or we're staying stuck in the past because we're obsessing about something that happened that we can't just drop. And maybe we're still worried about the future because we can't see all of the clarity. Now, Mercury just moved into Capricorn, which means we have more mental support to figure out what to do with all the information we've been finding out over the last little while. And we can apply it to actually create a plan of action that will lead to better results because um, Capricorn focuses on results. So like, and it's also connected to karma. So now us understanding that people, you know, ourselves and other people will start to get their karma for maybe some lies that were told up until now or trickery or whatever. Um, we don't need to get too much into that, but like the karma will always balance itself out. So if you've been positive, if you've been nice, if you've been, um, you know, acting from the heart space and you're kind and caring, then like, you don't have anything to worry about. Just go for it. Um, we're also trying to figure out how to create better structures and foundations. Again, the North Node in Taurus, but with Mercury in Capricorn, we can actually create a plan. So maybe some of you have been trying to figure out how to take action with establishing, you know, your own business or um, new collaborations. Maybe some of you are trying to figure out how to commit better to relationships or friends, family, whatever. And I think now we have an opportunity to actually see how our mind can help us figure out a good strategy for what is next. Do I feel like we're actually moving forward with everything? No. And I say that because we still have Mars in retrograde in Gemini. So Mars in retrograde is an opportunity for us to reflect and review all of our actions from the past. And now we can say, okay, these things didn't work. This was bad behavior. This was a stupid approach, whatever. But now I have new ideas and I can figure out how to apply them to that Capricorn energy, a strategy and figure out what to do next. But do I need to actually move forward right now? No, I don't. In the springtime, yes, we'll be moving forward. After January, you will see more movement. We still have a Mercury retrograde very soon. So it's like, it's not really a time to be deciding, moving, making big changes. It's more about like, wow, these things didn't work. I need to drop the obsession about why it didn't work. I need to figure out what was my role in that situation, how to adjust myself. I need to accept the truth because like, I can't be lying to myself. I can't be lying to other people. I can't live in this fake fantasy about everything's fine when everything's not fine. Or if I need to change my behavior or I need to establish better boundaries with other people who refuse to change their behavior, then I need to do that. And it's just like, we can't lie to ourselves anymore. This full moon is going to bring up a lot of truth and challenging truths about ourselves and our roles and other people and their behaviors and how we've accepted bullshit for way too long or how we've been showing up not fully committed to ourselves or our journey or whatever. So it's like, this is a little bit of a challenging moon. Um, but it's really good because it's very empowering. When we see the truth, when we see all of that information, we can actually accept our role, which means we can decide a new way to do things. And that is power because your decision is your power. So um, we also have this full moon trining Saturn in Aquarius, which means it's very supported. Like we have a lot of support right now to do Saturn in Aquarius things. What does that mean? Saturn is a focus on structures and habits and foundations and um, and new behaviors and routines. And Aquarius, Aquarius is reinvention and figuring out new solutions and shifting our mindsets. And it's very go with the flow, easy and calm. So like, the, again, the tower, like the old structures are coming crumbling down. We have opportunity to plant new seeds. We're breaking these old habits. We're letting go of our old identity. We're understanding that we have a role here and we have the power in our decision-making process. And now we have an opportunity to figure out a new strategy and to reinvent ourselves and our behaviors. So that's kind of the overall energy here. That sounds like a lot. Maybe some of you want to rewind that and watch that again, which is fine. 
but like all of this is connected to our new identity that is emerging. So around March, you will notice your identity has really changed compared to last year. And now we have an opportunity to stand in our power and to decide better things moving forward, which will invite in more opportunity, abundance, love, rest, relaxation, better food, sex, luxury, everything. It's like that's all connected to the Taurus thing. That North Node in Taurus is what we are now creating because the North Node is the direction we are moving in. So I'm going to wrap that up for the tarot. Um... I think we could be feeling a little frustrated. We could be feeling a little frustrated with ourselves or other people and why they're deciding why they're doing what they do. Um, it's just the energy. It's like, it will be coming up. We also have that Mercury retrograde at the um, end of December, I believe. So we're going to notice again, that kind of energy is coming up, but like, it's an opportunity for us to review it, reflect on like, why did it happen this way? What was my role? What was their role? How do I establish better boundaries for this next cycle? And then we can figure out like, like all of those triggers, all those emotions, all of the anxieties and the regrets and whatever, that's actually the crack in our system, right? Our own sort of energetic being. So when we have those cracks and it's painful, it's frustrating, it's triggering, that's that feeling of crack, right? That's where the actual light comes in. So if you feel the frustration, the sadness, the anger, dive into it, that trigger, that emotion is leading you to the solution. So like, keep that in mind, like everyone, and we've been born and bred to like, oh, society has taught us to like avoid discomfort, avoid acceptance of the truth, avoid, you know, all of the feelings and the emotions, pop a pill, drink, go out shopping, have sex, get on fucking Tinder. It's just like, oh my God. So we're just like numbing ourselves, numbing ourselves, numbing ourselves. And it's like, no, bitch, you need to dive in and feel it. So just dive in and feel it and solve it, clear it, clean it. Like you need to feel it to heal it. Okay. Now, um, the last thing I want to say is that like, this is a more focus on the small truths, the easy truths. Maybe like, I just need to change my diet. I just need to stop this bad habit. I just need to stop allowing these kinds of people in my life. I just need to stop um, letting other people take advantage of me and maybe charge them more money for the work I'm doing or whatever. It's like, it can be an easy truth. It's not going to be this big mind blowing. Wow. It's like, it's something you already know. It's something you already know. It's already internalized. It's already energetically in you. And you know, you just need to start acting on it. So now we're figuring out how to actually act on it. Mercury in Capricorn. Okay. Don't beat yourself up because you haven't fully committed. It's fine, but like, take it seriously. Like, it's time to grow up, bitch, you know? Like, fuck. Okay, that's that. We're gonna clear that because this is building. So let's just clear the root chakra um, and the third eye, please, for everyone. Okay. Um... Let's jump into the energy clearing and the meditation, and then we are done. Um, if you want more support, we have the Sagittarius season workshop, and the link is below. Um, also, this is a pay what you can. So thank you for all of your donations. Um, it helps me continue to do this work. It helps me also pay all of the amazing people that work for me, and we also donate a lot of money, et cetera. So it's just like, yeah, I really appreciate, I really appreciate all of your donations. One dollar is fine thousand dollars is better no just kidding it's like but literally like just whatever you want it's it's pay what you can so i appreciate that the link is below um i also just want to acknowledge that most of the people taking this workshop are settlers on their land so we have a role and a responsibility in reconciliation um if you are buying sage buy it from an indigenous person for example or an indigenous company not walmart um, and lastly, deaf people are real. So add captions to your content and hire an interpreter if you can. If you need help or a consult or free interpreting services, email us. Uh, you can find our contact information on my website and we will figure out how to help you get interpreters for your events. Now, I want you to lay back. I want you to close your eyes. If you are deaf, of course, you can keep your eyes open. Um, I want you to envision that there is a green fire burning in front of you. Okay, so you're going to close your eyes. I'm going to start some sound bowl music. I'm going to use distance energy symbols to clear your energetic field. 
but I want you to envision that there's a green fire burning in front of you and you have a gold comb and you're going to start at the top of your head. You're going to comb yourself down and you're going to toss any of the negative energy that you pick up into that green fire. Okay. Just follow your intuition comb. You can use your actual hand if you want and just sweep it off your body, but we are going to help clear your energy field. Okay. So let's do that now. Okay, now I want you to imagine that white light is pouring down from above you, and this is going to add more protection to your auric field. It's also going to enhance positive energetic vibration in your space so that you can attract more love, abundance, opportunity, etc. So I just want you to envision white light pouring down. I'm going to use different energy symbols now, and then we're going to start with a meditation immediately after that. start this meditation by taking three deep breaths. I'm going to count you in. So you can inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four. And one more. I'm going to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. Exhale, two, three, four. One last breath, really filling the belly, dropping the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is known as the time traveler because Mercury can fly into the future and figure out what needs to be done next. Mercury can also fly into the past. So under this full moon in Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, there's a strong connection to the old stories that we tell ourselves and the new stories that we want to tell ourselves. So what I want to do today is bring ourselves back into our totality, into our full alignment and our full power. So the first thing I want you to do is to just visualize some connections, whether they're past or present, that no longer serve you. Where are you stuck on an old story or where are you stuck in the past with a person who was maybe a friend, 
Maybe it's a family member. Maybe this is an ex-lover. Someone that we saw so much potential with. Someone that we, we really wanted to expand with. Someone we really wanted to move forward with. And maybe they just didn't show up fully. Maybe they were not committed in the ways that we needed them to be. Maybe there was self-sabotage. Maybe you stepped into self-sabotage or you didn't show up fully. Maybe there's regrets or shame or maybe there's disappointment. But I want you to think about this connection. There could be multiple people who come to mind. There could be different situations. But I want you to see yourself with someone who is either taking too much from you or maybe expecting too much from you? How did you give your power away? How did you pour too much into other people instead of prioritizing yourself? Maybe there's a lot of heartbreak or disappointment or sadness anger or frustration about this connection, about how this relationship unfolded. Maybe we fixate still. Maybe we still think about this, what we could have done, what we should have done, or how they could have done more, they should have done more. Maybe there's a lot of confusion around why things ended this way. We don't need all of the answers. We don't need all of the clarity. And sometimes we'll never get the closure. But what we do need is to call back the parts of ourself that are stuck in the past. Maybe we're fearful about the future. Maybe we're anxious about what's coming or how are we going to change or how are we going to level up? Maybe we're feeling overwhelmed because we're, we're traveling too far ahead into the future and we're stressing ourselves out. So I want you to take this moment to look in both directions. Where are you fearful of what's coming? Where are you not allowing yourself to just experience life as it unfolds and instead you are fixated on fears or you're stressing yourself out or you're expecting things to always go to shit? It's it's not going to happen that way every time so we can stop worrying about it. So I want you to see this future version of yourself where you're stressed, where you're anxious, where maybe you're sad. And I want you to call that version back in. So if you could imagine that there's a cord between you and this future version of yourself, I want you to just call that version back in, pull the cord towards you and have that version of yourself come to you and stand directly in front of you. And I want you to just hold hands with that version of yourself. And I want you to see that version of yourself just calm down and be at ease. I want you to tell that version of yourself to just trust. Trust that you are taken care of. Trust that you are protected and that everything will always work out favoring you. It will always work out for the highest good. And it will likely work out better than you even expected. And as you see this version of yourself calm and stable, I want you to allow that version of yourself to integrate into this version of yourself. So maybe give yourself a hug and feel the merging or allow yourself to just step into yourself and you become one. And now I want you to look back into your past and I want you to see the frustration or the disappointment or the anger or the neglect or the rejection. Or maybe you're upset with yourself and there's shame and there's guilt and there's anger. And I want you to see that version of yourself And feel that energy, the frustration, the sadness, the disappointment. And I want you to imagine that there's a cord connecting you and this past version of yourself. And I want you to just gently pull the cord forward and allow this past version of yourself to approach you and to stand directly in front of you. 
And I want you to grab your hands. And I want you to just tell the past version of yourself that it's okay to let go. That it's time that we release all of these stories, that we stop fixating on the past. And I want you to feel that energy shift. I want you to feel that frustration and that anger and that disappointment. I want you to feel it fade. I want you to feel yourself release it. And I want you to see this version of yourself come into peace and acceptance. And I want you to forgive this version of yourself for whatever you did. I want you to forgive this version of yourself for staying stuck in the past. And when you feel that that energy has come into better balance and you feel that you've released that frustration and that anger or whatever the emotions are, I want you to feel yourself in total peace and harmony and I want you to merge with this version of yourself. Give yourself a hug, allow yourself to just step into yourself and the two of you become one. And in that space, I want you to just feel that you're in harmony again. And from here, you can decide how you want to move forward. From here, you have endless possibilities because you're not focused on the future. You're not focused on the past. You're focused on this moment. And only in this moment do you have any power. So I want you now to just see the future version of yourself in a high vibrational state, not a place of fear, of anxiety, of worry. I want you to see yourself standing in your power. I want you to see a version of yourself where you are financially stable, where you are secure, where you are confident, where you are healthy, where you are strong, And I want you to imagine that there is a cord between you and this future version of yourself, this higher vibrational expression. And I want you to pull that cord towards you. And I want you to give that version of yourself a hug and integrate that power, integrate all of that awareness and that vibration into this version of you, because that is who you're becoming. And that is the direction you are now moving in. So I want to inhale this and lock it into the subconscious mind. So let's inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, and four. And when you're ready, I invite you to bring some gentle movement back into the body. You can open your eyes and welcome back. Okay. Okay, so now I want you to pause on my face if you can catch it. And you're going to write a list that says, under this full moon in Gemini, I am willing and ready to release the following. And then what you're going to do is just write it down. Um, and then afterwards, you can burn that list safely. And that's it. We are done. Okay, so you can pause, you can go write your list. Bitch. Hey, I bet you didn't get me, bitch. I bet it. Okay. Love you. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, that's it. So um, please, I love to see your comments about what you are releasing. And I always send everyone in the comments a little extra oomph um, to really cut and clear that cord. So Please put it down, let me see. Also hit the like button because it supports this channel and it's really easy and it's free to do so. <laughs> and I'm here supporting you, so you support me, please. Um, also, of course, all of your donations are greatly appreciated. The link is below. If you want more information about the Sagittarius season workshop, it is also below. We also have our t-shirts and sweaters are back for Christmas. So order 
Soon, if you want them to arrive before Christmas, you will see that we're also doing um, like a bundle package where you can get a t-shirt and a sweater. You could buy one for yourself and another thing for a friend or whatever, but all of that information is below. Um, I love you guys so much. We also have a fucking hilarious Christmas music video out now. I will add it here on the little like pop-ups or whatever. Um, go watch it. It is so funny. And I will see you all very soon. Okay. Love you. Mwah. Ciao.